Hey guys, it's not at all common to have access to reports of people being scared to death when traveling by plane. That tense atmosphere during flights was no different with Jessica. She would sigh and watch everyone around her every time she needed to board a long flight. It just so happened that on one fateful day as soon as she boarded the plane, her stress level multiplied after a man approached her and wouldn't let her sit down. Until that moment she had no idea why he was rude. But as soon as she opened her mouth, the certainty was immediate. Watch the video to the end and learn all the details of this sensational story. Jessica worked at a military base for a good period of time. All her training prepared her for all kinds of extreme situations, but still, when this man approached her all her experience seemed to vanish in the blink of an eye. What awaited her that day she would never forget. The young military girl was returning home for her month of vacation. She missed her family as it had been a long time since she had seen her beloved relatives. Being away from them made her heart break a little more each day, although she was aware that what she was doing was a great gesture for her country and relieved some of the burden of homesickness. Commercial flights can generate some of the classic annoyances such as turbulence, bland food, and stressful noises. But some people are horrified by the idea of being crammed into a super small space. However, this mode of transportation is the best way to travel from point A to point B in a short amount of time and that's exactly what Jessica was looking for. The day she got on her flight it was completely full. She already knew she could barely stretch her legs or recline her body. But as soon as she found herself in front of her seat she began to realize that something that day would be, let's just say, a little unusual. While we all like to travel in comfort, some people just can't relax. Business and first class airline tickets are much more expensive than economy class seats, so the vast majority of passengers end up feeling a bit uncomfortable. Jessica was confident, although that day, things might end up being a little different. Dressed in her military uniform and with her carry-on luggage slung over her shoulders, she made her way into the back of the plane. Her boarding pass indicated that she would be sitting in seat 31B for the long ride inside of the plane. She looked at the always very expensive business class seats, always very elegant and comfortable. She began to regret her modest bank account. As she walked in search of her seat, someone began to speak softly to the stewardess about Jessica. But the girl had no idea what was in store for her. She continued carrying her belongings until she finally reached row 31. She removed the bag from her shoulder, placed it in the overhead bin, and sat down. It was then that 10 minutes turned into 15, 15 minutes turned into 20, 20 minutes turned into a half an hour, and nothing. The plane wouldn't take off. From then on, Jessica couldn't shake the feeling that something was very wrong with this flight. Usually planes are delayed due to bad weather conditions, but that day the sky was nice and clear. He tried to find a flight attendant to ask about the delay, but there was no one in sight. So they began to whisper nervously to the other passengers. What was going on? When Jessica saw the crew in the cabin, one passenger noticed that they were acting in an unusual manner. Some agitation was heard until everyone hurried to get settled on the plane. It wasn't long before she realized that they were being told about a specific passenger. Moments later, that passenger started walking toward Jessica. The flight attendants laughed lightly, covering their faces with their hands. Something was going on and she didn't like it one bit. They were obviously talking about her. Jessica was used to being stared at and whispered about when she traveled in her uniform but there was something very different this time. In the end, she had no choice but to simply ignore the boy, but the feeling of nervousness was unavoidable. It was impossible not to notice the stranger. He was tall and handsome with subtle features and a pair of bright blue eyes. He was wearing a very smart suit and tie. He was walking towards her with such determination that it made her suspect it was all an attempt at flirting. She thought the man would ask for her phone number. That was when he moved in Jessica's direction, which seemed to take forever to happen and was totally unexpected. The man stepped forward and indicated her seat. Then, without losing his posture, he informed that her seat was taken. Jessica looked around with confused wide eyes but remained incredulous. Is this guy crazy, she thought? I'm in his seat? The man insisted. She had no idea what was going on and decided to ask to see his ticket. What? You are mistaken. Sir, my ticket is 31B, the military woman reported. However, the stranger continued to report that she could not sit in the seat. Jessica looked to the flight attendants for help, but they just nodded their heads in the negative. After much confusion, the stranger explained that she was a military officer. She could not sit in that seat. 
He told Jessica that he admired her too much, that she worked hard every day to keep the people of the United States safer, but that he needed her to sit in another one. Jessica patiently listened to his reasoning, but continued to miss the point. The stranger confessed that he would be very grateful if she would accept his business class ticket as a gesture of thanks for the hard work she does for the country every day. Jessica was surprised and tried to refuse the kind man's gesture, but he kept insisting until the excited service woman received the gift and walked down the narrow aisle of the plane with a smile from ear to ear. She seemed not to believe what had happened after so much questioning and so many tense moments on the plane. She made it to the most spacious and comfortable seats, her body longing for a taste of it. As a military officer in training, she was working at pushing her aching and fatigued body to the limit. Would it be possible to repay the loving gesture in some way? Jessica thought all her hard work would be worth it when she finally got home and could rest, but then the mysterious man sped up the process, giving her the best gift she could receive at that moment. The military woman couldn't stop thinking about the man who gave up a seat in the best sector of the plane. The guy was bigger and wider than her and would surely have been uncomfortable in the small economy class seats. She couldn't even imagine what her flight would be like, which made her think of something that might brighten her day minimally. Without much choice of what to do to make his flight more comfortable, she decided she would ask the flight attendant for something. Unfortunately, there wasn't much she could serve to the stewardess because it is forbidden to send first class items to economy class. In an impulsive gesture, Jessica decided to tear up a piece of paper and write a note and put a $20 bill taped to an envelope, asking the flight attendant to hand it to her. The man opened the paper and his eyes filled with tears. The note read, if everyone would treat people the way you treat a modest military woman, the world would be a much better place to live. Immediately, the handsome man wrote another note and the stewardess handed it back to Jessica. When she read it, she couldn't help but smile. He refused the $20 bill, but proposed to meet her when she landed and offered to have dinner with him. Jessica started to feel butterflies in her stomach, and of course she couldn't refuse such a romantic invitation coming from such a kind person. The touching gesture was enough to make her fall in love with the guy. The two got to know each other better at a restaurant shortly after the plane landed and Jessica put aside all her tiredness. She never expected something so tender to happen in such an unpretentious way. It all seemed like something out of a fairy tale, and the rest of this story between the two is left to your imagination. Another passenger who was on the flight called Jessica Titus. Our protagonist of the day watched everything from her seat and felt compelled to share this incredible story of empathy and romance. And she did it very well. So she made the post in just over an hour and over 4,000 people shared it. Hundreds of people came together and shared their similar stories. A woman named Kathy Nixon said someone else did the same thing for her husband, who was also in the military, as he was returning to California. They were surprised by the gesture. People naturally have a good heart, but we don't show it that often. By sharing the story on social media, the anonymous man was praised for an accomplishment he didn't want to be recognized for. He just had altruism, and it should be the rule and not the exception. If we try to think about it a little more during the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, the possibility of being better and happier people ends up increasing a lot. Is it worth a try? What did you think of today's amazing story? Don't forget to tell us in the comments. Leave your like if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. See you in the next video. Thanks.